some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today's video comes to us directly from the Volusia County Sheriff's Office uh, YouTube page. And it deals with a sovereign citizen who's just wrong in the head in so many ways. Fake passport, fake uh, IDs, everything uh, under the sun, including the strange DOT number pasted on the back of his car. And believe me, I'll get into that uh, later on in the video. But at any rate... He ends up getting himself arrested. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get this frickin' S show on the road, shall we? Stay in the car. Sir, what's going on? I'm trying to pull you over. I just wanted to park. Okay. Do you live here? I am right here, yeah. Okay. So usually when you get pulled over, you don't stop where you want to stop, okay? It's very dangerous for us, all right? All right. So the reason for the stop is two things. One, you're not wearing your seatbelt. The second, when I was coming behind you, you ran the stop sign. I didn't run the stop sign. You did. I put my blinker on. Oh, wait, you serious? Let me laugh even harder. <laughs> oh, you put your blinker on so it's okay to run a stop sign because you did that. Gee, I didn't know that. I mean, I've been driving since, what, 1997, and nobody ever told me that. But of course nobody would tell me that because that's that's not a thing. That's just in some soft, hard, delusional fantasy land kind of crap right there. Okay, you put your blinker on, but you didn't stop at the stop sign. Do you okay. have the driver's license registration insurance? No, I don't have all of that stuff. Okay. I operate outside of your jurisdiction. I would beg to differ, and even the DOT number that you pasted on the back of your windshield, uh, well, it just shows otherwise. And like I said, I'll get to that later on in the video because it is incredibly funny. What does that mean? This is a private automobile. Okay. It's registered to a private estate. Okay. <clears throat> so you have no form of identification? Let's start with this. Okay. Just do me a favor, stay in the car, okay? Sir? Not here. And that. Not a problem. Do me a favor, don't get out of the vehicle, please. Yeah, it's Motor 44. I'm dealing with a Sovereign. I'm at a 19 Seaville Drive. If one of you can come over here. Oh, I would love to. Did you hear the enthusiasm in that other officer's voice? He must have been wanting to sink his teeth into a sovereign citizen for a long time. It's that, or he must have arrested a few other sovereign citizens in the past and just likes to deal with them for some reason. So you don't have a driver's license, sir? No. Nope. So um, I, I ran your tag. It's not coming back to anything. No, I need to identify you, it's sir. It's registered to a private estate. Okay. So where is your identification? Okay. Can I? Are you giving me this? This is all private property. It's not within the jurisdiction of the corporate state of Florida. Okay. You op you you work for the corporation. Am mm -hmm. I correct? Sure. State of Florida. Yeah. 
the corporation incorporated. All right, I have no contract with them, no driver's license, no registration. The car belongs to a private estate. Okay. Yeah, that's something else you softards really need to figure out is the difference between a corporation and a state. There are differences, and they are noticeable. But, of course, you softards just can't seem to get your heads out of your ass to figure that out. So, private estate trust. It's a private estate. Okay. So, in the state of Florida, sir, you need a valid driver's license to operate a motor vehicle upon our streets okay that also i have no way of identifying you okay you you have a document in your possession that says passport but it is not a passport it is a passport it is not a passport the, sir this passport is on record with okay with you have a driver's license nope. no i don't have one of those as i'm telling him it's in a private estate okay i'm gonna hand this back to you sir so, have you ever had a driver's license in the state of Florida? No. Any other state in the, in the country? I have none of those. Haven't had one, don't use them. Okay. What's your first name? You can call me Anthony. Is that your, your government name or? That is what was, that is my given. Okay, sir. So here's what's going to end up happening. Okay, if you do not identify yourself, you will be going to jail. I have, and I would I hate am to do giving that. Giving you my identification. That's not a valid identification. And in the state of Florida, you need a driver's license to drive. It's that simple. No. So if you don't have a driver's license, you can go to jail. That's what's going to happen today. I'm you, trying to be respectful. To I you, am sir. too. A license is not. I already legal. told you what's going to happen. That's where we're at. We're not playing the game today. Yeah, this isn't even... That's not a passport. No, it's not. All right. So are you Traveling upon and transporting Do you one's... Do have a driver's license, Anthony? Traveling upon and transporting one's property one upon time. public road, license, which is a Anthony, right. hold on. Before, before no, this... We're done with this. Go ahead and step, step out of the vehicle. Step, step out, out of the vehicle. Do now. Step out of the vehicle. All right. All right. I'm, I'm coming out. Vincent... You don't have to talk to him right now, sir. Vincent! No, turn around, put your hands around the bed. Don't resist. You, you stop, got my stop car, tensing. Okay? Stop. stop tensing. Stop, right now. Put your hands behind your back and stop tensing. You got my car? Yeah, I'll leave it here. We'll leave it here, that's fine. Can I have the keys? Can have the keys? Just one in. second. I'll talk to you after this is all done and said with here. Do you have anything on your person that's going to poke me, stick me, hurt me? No. I Separate have your feet in the front seat. Would Separate you your feet. The... Separate your feet, sir. All you had to do was identify yourself, sir. That's identification, okay. man. I already called 1015. Oh, okay. All I require is the passport with me. Okay. Would you get just give That's me my wallet and, and my lighter and change, or can you just put it back in the car? Uh, you can put it back in the car. Unless you want him to have it, I can give it to him. Yeah, that's 10-4. We have a 10-15. He failed to identify himself. Um, can I put yeah, him in your you car temporary, or do you have stuff back there? I'll take it out. My passport. I need my passport okay. with me. It's lawful ID. I think someone said they were on their way to us. I think someone said they were on our the way to us. Have a seat, sir. Sovereign citizen games don't play here. I'm not a sovereign citizen. Well, you need a license to drive. Well, you could have fooled me. If it walks like a duck, quacks like a duck, it must be a duck. And, uh, well, you certainly were acting like a sovereign citizen. Now let's get to the DOT number that's on the back of this car right here. If you plug it into the U.S. DOT uh, database, then you do get this file right here registered to this softard, in fact. But you know what? You don't need to register your vehicle for the DOT number unless you are going to be transporting goods 
for commercial purposes. And look what he did down here. He put down a whole list of things that he would be transporting in his vehicles. So uh, if Savtards are not uh, for hire or anything like that and think that they don't need a driver's license unless it's for commercial purposes, why the hell did you register your vehicle with the Department of Transportation and get a DOT number when that is for commercial purposes only, really, and uh, you don't have a commercial driver's license to begin with when you had no driver's licenses at all? Just doesn't really make any sense now, does it? But just like a lot of Sovtard issues, it really never makes any sense when you dissect their narratives. So, yeah, that's just the brain of a Sovtard for you. Nothing but radioactive mush that makes no sense whatsoever. So, at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. This could be some groundbreaking stuff right here. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?